What's up everybody? Bobby here. We're back again for another day. Another day. So here we are I'm in my office, you know, getting ready for another good sales day. I had a good sales day yesterday. Actually, overall, I had a good day. Um, markets wise, everything, I'm kind of up on everything. My crypto accounts are up. My investments are up. My you know everything's going good and property values are going down so i'm going to have a good opportunity possibly in the next few months to start looking into properties i'm landing some big contracts and everything so here's what i've been doing i know a lot of people are saying what uh there's been some comments i've been looking as to what business i was getting into and everything it's like i went into transportation industry went right into it I got a few businesses in there. I have my property management company. I do have a short-term lending company that we are start that we have started. And um, I'm starting another mattress store company this year and doing a lot of other great things. Also, we started in December a detailing company that we also uh, max auto detailing go, go check out our youtube page on that it is growing every day uh but besides that i've been doing a lot and there's a huge reason why i took that six year period off because i i haven't been posting videos and i started trying to with crypto but i'm gonna go i'm kind of finally got back access back to this channel so now i can post regularly here regularly here and what happened was, what I decided to do is I had an opportunity. And I was making something like 280000 a year before bonus. And I was, I was banking a lot. Like I had five years solid plus bonus. I think my highest bonus was almost double my salary. Our sales performance, we were, we were record. We were like number, we were number in the top five in the company in sites for sales growth and then we were number one for an entire year like every week every month and then every, and it was just me and the the other guy so we were just cranking it out we were just cranking 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 so i was getting these three hundred thousand dollar checks every quarter so i would take that money and put it into my investments and savings and then i ballooned so I went and I went down right before the pandemic and then my position got, uh, you know, they, they reduced our positions. So they said, well, we'll sell with half, but they kept me. But I also just said, you know, what? it's time to go on my own. Right. And this was actually, well, it was actually like right before the pandemic. Um, we did have a lot of, uh, they had a lot of high overhead because we had a lot of salespeople that weren't cutting it, but staying and no one really wanted to like fire them so that was their way of firing people and I was like you know what I just want to kind of move on my own direction anyway I had made I had made about four million dollars that year not not that year I'm sorry in the total time I was there about four million dollars because I remember our first year sucked I made a hundred and twenty thousand for my base pay my base commissions was like 80 and then our bonus was like 20,000 for the year we, we were up but we were not profitable we weren't really doing all, but the next year we were just going gangbusters so imagine that for four years made a shit ton of money after tax and everything I had four million dollars that i did and then i started my company i started one of my logistics companies and it grew to a million dollars in the first year like the first full year we did a million dollars in sales so then i went to the next so then we kind of branched out and then another company off of that did about 500,000 and now combined it's, I mean, this year we're probably going to, we're, we're definitely going to break like 25 million. And then that, that has also allowed me to do a lot of other things like investing in real estate, investing in other people's ideas, things I wanted to do. Right. So now I'm in a great position. So I, I will, I will say this is full disclosure. My investment accounts are, quite significant compared to what you guys are. So as you can know, you can go back in the first videos of this channel. I had $500 in my account. And I, you know, now 
I have a net worth of about 16 million and growing. And it's crazy because I've been growing at such an alarming rate to what my experience has been. And I'll have to do another video down the road at that, but it's like, I'm at the point now where I've put in two orders for and i'll show those cars when they come but i i put in an order for uh, i fully spec'd out one of the one of the new rolls races and then i bought a fully kind of fully spec'd out there's some things i did not get but a maserati uh mc20 and then i bought um i'm, I'm buying this year my plan is to buy some you know regular cars because a lot of whatever else i bought was for businesses like i bought a big truck for for one of my businesses and things like that and you know of course box trucks trailers like now i'm signing a new contract i gotta buy four trailers and two rigs so that's probably we're probably going to end up spending another about, about a million to get all that in and then another million to train and or hire um cdl drivers things like that you know it's just just the, this the cost of expanding but hopefully this contract will net us a lot more in the long run so anyway so like that you know that's what i've been doing like this year it's like I, i'm i'm trying to get like you know some a, a, a good car because right now i have my ford f-250 that i use i drive everywhere and it's a great it's a great truck don't get me wrong, it's a great truck. It does what it needs to do and it can haul. And one I like about it is it has the power when my box trucks get stuck in like mud or anything after delivering at a client's house, I can wrap the chain around, pull that sucker right out. Saves a fortune on tow fees. And that's why I got it, but it's lovely. It's a, it's a nice truck, it's comfortable. It, it actually has really good gas mileage. It's like, it has a 20 gallon tank or 20, 25 gallon tank and it gets 600 miles to that tank. That's the range, which is very good. Like I drove four hours away and back and only had to fill up once. So that's why I like the truck. But I'm thinking about, you know, getting something a little more classy, especially as I've lost weight. You know, in between the five years, I gained like 500, I was up to 500 pounds. And now I'm down to 350, so I lost 150 in two years. But we'll just take that steady as we go. And you guys will probably see the progression. Because once I get down to 250, it's going to start... I'll start dropping the weight. And probably bulking up too. But needless to say, that's what I've been doing for five years. And what people didn't realize is that I had to have a laser focus on this. A laser focus on it. And I didn't do nothing. I, I didn't really talk to friends. I didn't. I very rarely talked to my family. Um, it's 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 a, it's a pretty lonely ride when you're trying to build this type of wealth. Pretty lonely. And then when you get there, you got to sort through people who are. I mean, they're gonna be there, but you got to sort through people who are trying to use you for your money and not, and get those and. Trust me, $16 million isn't a lot of money. It sounds like a lot, and it's life-changing for many people, but it can disappear like water in the desert, too. That's not a lot of money. It can disappear fast. Like I can't go out and buy a Bugatti. I can't go and do this, but I can get like a $500,000 car. But that also gives me motivation to get something better. So, But here we are to the main point of the video. A morning chat. I'm gonna do this every morning. Every morning, we're just gonna talk. This is my pre, this is my pre day warm up here for kind of getting into things. I just freshly worked out in the morning. I wake up at around four o'clock, do a workout, come in here, and this is what we're gonna do. And this is what I do. I, I check all the markets. I check all my stocks. I check all my portfolios. So right now, my crypto portfolio is about two point four million. My next one. Is my my investment is my investment accounts. I have two. I just have a general account, which is about one point eight million, which I just put money into. I put it into Betterment. No, I'm not paid to promote them. So, but Betterment is something I use and something I encourage for everyone who's just getting into investing. That Betterment gives you a good just you can put your money in. It has an a, it, they have a program that manages your money and does micro trading. So, it 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 averages like seven percent up. 
and averages like two to three percent down. So it's very good for people to slug away money and gain cash quickly. I also have my personal investments with uh, Robinhood. I was thinking about leaving, but I decided to stay because I don't really do options trading. I don't do all that craziness. I don't really gamble like that with, with my investments. So, and I have about a million there. Now there, I keep a lot of dividend stocks and I keep a lot of, I keep a lot of um, uh, trades that I do. They, they don't give me dividends, but I'm trading on the future value of the company like Amazon. So with that said, we're going to start talk, talking about what I'm looking at in the market and what I recently purchased, which was Porch Moving Group. It's a it's basically a broker for moving companies. So they broker out labor help jobs, full service jobs, things like that. And they vet the moving companies, make sure they're licensed, insured and all that stuff. Gives kind of clients a good way to avoid those scammy moving companies. So they are good in that sense, but they're not really an efficient company yet. However, they have a lot of potential. So I got into it right around 98 cents, right? Back in November. 98 cents and you can see right here it's low was like 94 cents so i caught it there but i did say like here i invested again and i invested again here so you know i somewhere between 98 cents and two dollars i've been just steadily investing so now i got a, a good amount of shares i got about ten thousand shares of it i wasn't going to put a lot too much to it but ten thousand shares seems to me fair but you know since then my thing has grown has grown so we're looking at 10,000 shares at 268 you know we're at 26,800 so what i'm thinking about and what i'm probably going to do coming towards the end of this quarter i might just double that the amount in there i they just the stock doesn't pay dividends the stock doesn't have anything however I have a feeling it's on a growth pattern because if we look at the one year chart, we kind of started up at 10. This was during the height of 2021 and 20, beginning of 2022, and it's just been steadily going down. Now that, that year was a recession. We were in a recession. We are no longer in a recession. We're kind of climbing out of it. I Like I said, we're gonna have a recession, a slow, uh, a kind of a little hiccup recession things kind of went south for like six to eight months and i was beginning of july of last year to right about now i think we're coming going to fully come out of it at the end of february and we're going to start rolling into because i could tell you right now i'm out on the road i do drive my trucks i do long hauls and i could tell you right now that that truck i i see trucks on the road and when i see trucks on the road the economy is still doing well and I can't imagine, and people are still moving, people are still doing the things they need to do, but I just can't see the, econ like, I, I don't see a dead economy. I see goods being shipped. I see, it's, it's like I running from, let's just put this, running from Little Rock to Memphis is just nonstop trucks. And when the pandemic happened, that road was empty. When the first lockdowns happened, that road was empty. I-40 was empty. But people are saying, are laying off and everything. But you know what? They're hiring truck drivers in the droves. In droves. I'm in Walmart country. We're in Bentonville, Arkansas, right? So Walmart is hiring, starting $135,000 a year for drivers now. For CDL drivers. And they'll train you to be a CDL driver. So that means they have a shortage of drivers. And then... And, and an inordinate amount of goods to be shipped and delivered. They're building distribution centers, they're building. I mean, Walmart's actually also building like a $3 billion corporate headquarters, new corporate headquarters here. They, they bought all the land and it started construction. So they got that going on as well. So this is what I'm saying, like these companies that are like Costco, Walmart, Target, um, any of the like, the like TJ Maxx, Ross, Kohl's, I, I think even JCPenney might see a boom from this if they get their management under order. Like the last CEO, 
um, was it that lady? It's like she wasn't a middle class lady. You're, it, JC Penny is a middle class company. It says families going there to get clothes. There and they were trying to attract the Forever Twenty One while attracting a cougar crowd. And the lady at the helm never lived middle class life. She was always upper class, upper upper class, the top one percent. So you're not. She can't. She's not going to understand how to sell to the average person and how to get her people to sell. Plus, it, it's kind of J.C. Penney's kind of. I don't. People are saying J.C. Penney will be gone in a year. I think they'll be gone in a decade if they continue on their path. If they, if they fix themselves, they might get get, get going. But actually, let's take a look. Let's take a look at what J.C. Penney's doing. Was it JP? Man, I can't even find it. They might not even be on there. That's how much I, how little I track them. Um, but I do think that, I do think that they're, they can fix themselves if they get out of their ass and realize, hey, let's um, let's start focusing on the bread, on the bread and butter that got them the money, and stop with all the stupid renovations and all that. They don't have to look fancy. They just have to look modern. That's all. Um, but they are gonna they are shuttering stores and I've they're probably gonna they're probably gonna decrease down to two hundred stores. Watch. But also the problem is that they just hire anybody. Instead of investing and building and understanding who you're hiring, they just they say, Oh, you have a pulse, go in and then you get people like I'm just here for a check. That's another that could be a whole nother video and conversation. People here just for a check. Because I could tell you that's probably not going to last too much longer either. You got to get some, get going somewhere. When we go over here, we look at the crypto markets. My account is up. I have a crap ton. Like, I made a crap ton. As of right now, Bitcoin is sitting just just a few bucks over 23000 But what I look at is my crypto accounts are up 58 My crypto account is up in the last 30 days 58%. I'm up 58%. That is crazy. That is crazy. So you can imagine what's fifty eight percent of two point four million. That's about what I was up. That's insane. So it, it's it's just going to show you how quickly things can turn around. Now the the Fed is going to raise interest rates by either point two five or point five. Which they're going to keep doing this for the rest of the year, but inflation is going to start to level out. People are going to start to buy, but unfortunately, there's going to be a lot of people who are going to be out of a job. And what, what I mean by that, it's going to be the big spenders out. It's not going to be the little guys. There's always jobs. There's always grunt work jobs. There's always, no matter what the economy is, there's grunt work jobs. Only one time in history, or a couple times maybe. In recent history, has there been a time where it's like, oh shit, even those jobs are at gone? But there's always going to be grunt work because right now, Amazon can't get enough warehouse workers. You can't get enough warehouse workers, period, in any company. So it's 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 just it's just mind boggling as to as to what um what is occurring. So now we have this situation where the markets are pumping, right? And if you haven't been investing all of last year, which on my other channel, Crypto Bobby, you know, like and subscribe there. You know, go. I've been saying all year, just put your money in, just get it in, get something in. You would have made a lot of money right now. And then right now, I'm about ready to cash out profits. But every time I think about cashing out profits, it keeps rising. Now I look at XRP. XRP keeps climbing because yesterday, beginning. Or two days ago, it was like 0.39. Now we're up to 0.42. We had a 9% increase so far in seven days. But if you go to the 30-day range, all of a sudden, we're at like 30, 40% gains. So, I, well, I don't think so much for XRP. Oh, no. We, we went from, it was like low 30s, so now it's up to uh, low 40s. So, we're in 8 to 10 10 cent increase but i'm looking at a lot of things like binance like 
the Binance coin, I put a little bit of money in. I cashed it out this morning. So I had gotten about 100 tokens, which was a pretty good sum of money. You know, it was at 205 a few months ago. And so I put in 20,000. I got to remember, those 100 tokens at three, now it's at 315.21, which I sold it for about 310 or something like that. But if you were talking about it now, I mean, you just made 11,500 for, for in five months. And like you said, my goal is always to tell you guys, it's, it's not a, it's not get rich quick. I'll do one thing and I'm set for life. No, I got to do trades like that consistently over a broad spectrum of years now i can get very wealthy now you see it took five years let me tell you those are the worst five years of my life i'll have to go do another video on that but part of my weight loss was because i just didn't have food to eat to go to as i'm building so there's that anyway so i'm well, what's in my wallet is, of course, I have Bitcoin and Ethereum. I was buying Ethereum as soon as it hit 850. I was buying on a weekly, almost daily basis at that point. And Bitcoin, I have XRP. I had Cardano. I sold Cardano. I sold it at a loss. You know, I was in it at like a dollar. Eh, I lost a lot. There's a few others. One, a Harmony token. I lost a shit ton on that. But... Like I said, there's always going to be losers. You you just have to take it on the chin. I have I'm invested in Polkadot. Got a strong presence there. Cosmos got a really strong presence. Link, uh, Chainlink, Chrono is another one I'm in, and then of course I'm in Quant and HBAR. Now this one I'm it kind of goes back and forth, but now I'm really going to go into HBAR this year because uphold. The main exchange I use, or I really should say crypto brokerage, because that's what it really is. It's not an exchange. It's really a brokerage. But I use them for all my staking needs, because like if you had gotten in in, I think, January, they removed all the fees for staking until the end of this month. So I was making, like, I, I, also, I'm sorry, I also have Kava, because Kava, that time I was making... 25% so I now have I now have seven I have 70,000 tokens just about and every week I get about 260 tokens right and now it's starting to climb to a dollar so now every night you can't but now they they decreased to 13% which was it's it was expected so I got in at a good time I got my 25% uh, staking rewards, but I also have my dot on there, which is making 12%. I think now it's making 10, 10. I think the the fees got back on, so it's making 10 or 7 or something like that. But it's now it gives me, I got enough dot that it's giving me a, a nice chunk of change. Now, quant, I keep, I, I got, I got into quant in August when it was, it was like 50 bucks. So I put $5,000 in. Then it rose to 100, I put another 5,000 in. And then it dropped under 100 to like 94 or something. I put another 5,000 in. So I have, I think my average, my average was 98 times or a 1,000. We're looking at, I got, I got about, because I got 229, about 600 tokens of quant, right? Now, my biggest bet is that I have a lot of money in Bitcoin. I have a lot. Most of that 2.4 million is in Bitcoin and Ethereum. I don't have a lot in the other things. But this year, my goal is to kind of stretch out my diversification. But given the current rate of the market going up, I'm probably not going to buy too much um, crypto, I'm probably just going to be shaving profits because I shot up over a million dollars. So I'm going to shave really half of it out and move it, which is going to be mostly Bitcoin and Ethereum sales, move it out and put it into, uh, I'm going to put it into real estate 
Because now I'm able to put, I'm trying to work a deal on real estate where I'm gonna put 500,000 in as my 20%, get a $2 million loan and buy 20 properties. Man, that school bus is loud. <laughs> you need to fix those brakes. So, and, and that's where I say, like, don't ever put all your eggs in one basket. Like, even if I didn't have a property deal to work on, I would still shave the profit off and put it into my Betterment account because that's the best thing that I could probably do. Don't ever get too greedy. Sometimes I, I take out too early and I miss a real good run, but I'm satisfied with making a little bit of money and then moving it someplace else. But moving $500,000 in, getting $2 million worth of real estate, that um, that's going to be 20 properties at an average here of $2,100 per home that I'm renting out. So that's 42,000 a month times 12. We're gonna, I'm gonna make my $500,000 back. And then in four years, I'll have paid off the loan, right? As I'm expanding. So that, that that's kind of like the, the, the play I'm gonna make this year because th believe it or not with interest rates this year, good credit and an understanding of how to invest, I'm going to make a crap ton of money off of real estate as people are exiting out of things. Now there is a house I really, really, really love. Really love. I th I wanna buy it. It, it kind of goes off the market, comes back on. It, it's a unique house. It's not, I would say it's not a family home. You know, it's a three bedroom home, it's a modern home. But because this area is building up so fast, they're building them in row homes. So it's like you got the kitchen and everything on the first on the second floor. And then you have the bedrooms on the first floor. And you have one bedroom on the very on the ground level floor. But your ground level was like a garage and that. So I'm seeing a lot of those houses. I like them because they're modern, they're asymmetrical. But that house isn't practical. Now, if it had like more living space on the ground level and it was just two levels instead of three but you know you have a second story uh, terrace and you have a third story terrace so it's kind of cool so i'm kind of hoping that end of this year it's still in the market i could buy something like that or at least i can find out the builder get the plans and build my own so and i know that if it's if it's retailing for 1.2 if someone trying to sell for 1.2 million then it probably costs between 600 and 800 thousand to do so that's pro that's that's how my mind works with that. Right now, I would say I'm probably not going to be investing heavily in, in the markets too, because like all my stocks are up. I have right now I have Apple, Walmart, I have Apple, Walmart, Costco, Amazon, Bank of America, JP Morgan. I have BlackRock in there. And then of course I have a couple other um real estate groups that pay phenomenal dividends on there i mean phenomenal like I, i'm making five six thousand dollars a month off those dividends and I don't, I don't have that much in there but i'm about ready to double up in there they've been around for 20 years and they're managed by people who have lived through some serious market recession so i know that they're going to weather anything that comes down the pike pretty well and, and they've done a good job so far so my, my full confidence in those in those uh, CEOs and their teams that are with them. So I'm not really seeing too much that I can really do for that. Um, I don't know what else I can really, really say about today. Um, other than, you know, just if you're looking at getting investing in this year, this is a good time to do research, analyze, but don't do individual picks. Do put your money into Betterment or Wealthfront. Both are good. Put put your money into there. Put like $100, $200. This is the year you really want to get that cash reserve going. Now, when I say cash reserve, you always want to make sure you have your emergency funds. Always have six months of emergency savings saved up just in case, oh, shit happens. But you want to make sure that if you want to enter into the market on individual picks, you got to have a lot of cash to do it. And I, um, I don't mean like $1,000. I mean, try to save up to minimum 10, but try to get to 50. And if you're, if you're single, 
Like I know a lot of single guys watch watch my stuff. If you're a sing if you're a single guy, no kids, then you should really should be getting two jobs. If you're in your twenties, I would not recommend starting a business. You don't start a business in your twenties. It's it's I've started one. I started two, they failed, and that was because of my lack of inexperience. And it was really early in my 20s. So what I recommend is go get a job and then go get a second job, go get a night job, and then do a side hustle or something. Something that you can do that takes like maybe 30 minutes a day to take care of. So that's what I would say to do if you're in that situation because then you can you can use the salary I would live within a 15000 per year budget. I know that's a little hard with rent, but I would move to areas where there's low rent. Not a bad area, but just move to towns that have low rent. And go get a steady job there or a work-from-home job and then go have, like, a night job or something like that. Or, like, work at a convenience store. People are knocking the convenience store, but now they're paying, like, $13, $14 an hour to go work the register. So you can work 30 hours there and make more than you would have five years ago working minimum wage. And just stack all that cash. I told this to one guy last year. Now he has, his net worth is about $300,000. And we haven't even gotten him into, I haven't gotten him into anything else yet. So it's really just saving and investing right now that he's doing. And he, he's going to be a he's going to be a phenomenal player. He's he's twenty years ahead of me. That's the thing. He's twenty years ahead of me, which is crazy. I wish I had done what I'm telling him to do now in my twenties, because then I'd be phenomenal. But anyway, we all live our lives, and the and we all have points to do it. Uh, right now, we still have the FTX debacle going on, but. I think the cash is there, at least the majority of it. I think you will probably find six to seven billion. But I'm telling you, if they if they don't if if they there someone's going to get the book thrown at them. I think it's going to be uh, Sam Bankman Fried or was his SBF. I think it's going to be that. There's rumors of Binance going down. I don't know. I don't I don't use Binance so. I have I have like eighty bucks on there. That's Stake Adam that I have when I first did it and never used it again. Cause this is a little complex system to use. It's not very user friendly. And since I was just getting into crypto, I like simple. I like simple things, which is why I like Uphold. It's very simple, straightforward. It's easy to use. It's very easy to learn. And what's great is they have a lot of tutorials on YouTube. So if you want to learn. How to transfer your crypto out, which I highly recommend. Don't leave it on exchanges. And to a hard wallet, I personally use Arculus wallet, but you can also use Nano wallets. They're also good. I would get their Nano Ledger S or higher because they have another one with double the store, even more storage coming out, or that is out. But they also have one that can tie into your phone that's like it's a hard wallet. I think that's pretty cool. I like to get one of those just because. But, uh, you know, don't keep it on exchanges. Don't do anything like that. Always put it on a hard wallet. Unless if um, you can't... Unless if, you know, it, you're comfortable with losing it. Like, I have I have about $100,000 on Uphold. But if Uphold goes down and I lose $100,000, it doesn't affect me. Because I pay myself for my businesses more than that. So, I'm not really out it too much. I'm, yeah, I lost, but nah, I don't care. I, I'm not going to be jumping out, jumping out a window, you know, because of that. And like, I know there's a lot of temptation with crypto. It's very easy to, uh, it's very easy to, um, to get into this, uh, like I need to get rich quick. I'm tired of being broke, but tired of being, tired of being broke is the first step. The next step is trying to get out of being broke and that's the hardest part because the get rich quick trying to find that one pick is like trying to buy is wasting your, like wasting your money on the lottery you're not going to make it work and you're only going to worsen your situation so why i recommend investing blue chips anyway the thing i'm also adding back in in a little bit 
is Microsoft. Now, it's down 20% for the year so far. They just, they laid off like 10,000 and they laid off another 18,000 and there's still more layoffs to come. I kind of figured this was going to happen. I did not get into this stock yet. However, I'm going to let this go down. It's going it, to, I think it's going to drop to about 150 in the next year. Big tech companies are just going to go like this. On a slow downward trend. Every year, lose somewhere between 20 and 30%. Microsoft's a good one to look at because we all use it. We all use Windows. We all use Word and the Word-related products. So I know it's not going anywhere. What I do know is that the stock price right now is overvalued for what it is. And what's going to happen is they're going to lay off probably, at most over the next couple of years, 150,000 people. I think that's about what I think what they employ something like 500,000 or something more. I, I may be wrong on that, but I have a feeling they're, they're going to be cutting down to bare bones. It's going to be skeleton crew and they're going to rebuild themselves. Now, some good things have going their Xbox gaming area is good. I think their acquisitions department is what's going to fuck them over. Uh, the acquisitions is. I mean, they're overbuying stuff to overbuy it. They're kind of like that big man on campus flex. I would not be buying, at this point, Microsoft, I would not be buying anything. Just cut your staff, cut the fat, cut the useless jobs, stop any projects that don't have any potential of going anywhere just because you're trying it. And only focus on things that work, focus on your core, focus on storage, focus on everything else and get going. But once that all happens, the stock's going to skyrocket well into 500 for sure. And then, of course, you're going to do a stock split. But it's going to, it's going to skyrocket in there. What, what I hope happens is that in two years, everything levels out. They make a lot of money and they grow fast from it. So that's, my, that's kind of like my pick. There's really not a whole lot going on this morning as to what my thoughts are about investing, about what we're doing. But needless to say... You know, stay, you know, stay sharp, stay focused on it, respect the process, always do your research, especially now. Now is the key time. Research, 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 research. But part of that research is get a network going, get a group going, because even I have a group of people that I talk to and we talk about investments because you need outside minds to help you outside your own mind to, to take a look at something because sometimes one of us will be like hey this is really good check it out blah 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 and then the next person says oh no don't look into that it's a it's a shit star it's just a dog with fleas it's like oh okay cool then we it helps you to avoid making some bad and rash decisions and i think that's really good so find an investment group or find someone that is kind of in your same lane and you guys can feed off of each other because that's what i did and that really helps but like and subscribe follow me on twitter follow my other channel crypto bobby if you want to check out my um companies uh check out max uh max Force movings page and check out max auto page those are those are the only two two of my businesses that are on there i probably will start showing some of the property management stuff maybe later in a couple years i'm gonna get these two channels kind of up there um and help spread the word like and subscribe comment below tell me what you think critique me let me know i'm trying i'm here to help i'm here to help get you guys into investing the right way i know there's a lot of guys out there that are just shilling stuff and a lot of people are following them and unfortunately a lot of people are losing money because there's a lot of wrong statements in there and i'm trying to help people avoid those wrong statements so bringing it out there hey and it's always a learning experience because you never know because someone may come and comment on this page and you may start chatting with them and find out something they know and it might help you out that's what this this is what this is for this is what i'm trying to do like me on facebook simply investing i'm gonna have all the links in the descriptions thank you guys look forward to chatting with you later